What up, YouTube and all you sexy body fighters? I know I'm a little late to the party, but uh, this is my box opening of the latest body fight uh, XBT01, the Dark Lords Rebirth uh, booster box. Uh, recently, I've been a little bit busy because I went, uh, went to Indonesia with my friends to participate in the Spring Circuit 2017. Uh, congratulations to Paddy for winning. And um, in that competition, I actually used Prism Dragons, which uh, I was undefeated in the Swiss round. But when I reached top 8, I, I lost to the Indonesia's champion legend, Juvento, with his ultimate Thunder Empire deck, which totally destroyed me. And um, also, I will be doing a, a vlog, uh, maybe a deck profile on my Prism Dragons uh, deck that I use uh, in Indonesia so stay tuned also I will be uploading the the finals match against uh, it was cut protagonist against Paddy uh, his zodiacs against uh, Oni assassins on my channel so do stay tuned there's a lot of exciting content that's gonna happen all right let's take a let's open this box up let's let's extract the treasure I sure do hope I either get a SP or a buddy rare because uh, SP and Buddy Rares are actually an additional pool in the box. I heard there's only two in the entire carton. And the, the SP art and Buddy Rares art now looks amazing in this set. Really looks so beautiful. Alright, let's take a look at the art of the box. Uh, we have a... Uh, the This is a SP art of the uh, Bats. We have Ibuki over here. Uh, I believe this is um, Azi Dahaka. Uh, this is Azidaka. I'm not too sure what is this. Alright, the side of the box. Uh, we have some Oni Assassin stuff. Really, really amazing design for the box. But if I X, I really love uh, this season's... Uh, this Penta. This is an uh, ancient world. I really, really love this season uh, artwork as well as the, uh, the, the design of the packs. Let's give a smell for good luck. <sighs> ah, I can smell the SP. <laughs> All right, let's get on with it. Also, uh, okay, let's open the first pack. What would it be? First pack of Destiny. All right. Shining Crystal Dragon Vermont. Enchanted Mean Sneak Attack. White Fin Kit to Guguma. Dragonite Ginter. And Sturdy Oni, a left from Kibi. Oni Assassins is really, really very strong. Uh, they managed to dominate the... I wouldn't say dominate, but it, it was just really, really a, a, a really, really strong deck. Okay, let's... Dragonic Deluge, Dustfin Yago. Oh, we have a uh, Oni Assassin uh, Parallel Foil, Redfin Kid Kaguma. <clears throat> Mystery Setting, one of my favorite cards. And Brush Upper, also another one of my favorite cards. They are not a force to be reckoned with on your assassin because they just have so much advantage. Uh, in my opinion, that every deck from the new season is is really amazing. It's so strong. Every deck has a chance to win. Uh, this meta is very balanced. Midnight Bodyguard, Emerald Spikes. I prefer the one in the Secret Pack. Kirabuki, Alex Thunder, and item for Oni Assassins. My my favorite deck in the this later season is Prism Dragons. Because personally I love Star Dragon World and Prism Dragons is just so Oh I just <laughs> Woo yo we, I was just talking about my favorite deck and the call of destiny the Atora hurt me boom This is the Prism Dragon Secret Pack White Crystal Dragon Rising uh, when you have a size 3 Prism Dragon in your center draw a card super amazing draw mechanism Crystal spikes pay one gauge. All your pr the prism dragons in your center abilities cannot uh cannot be nullified. Cannot nullify my soul guard. How about that? And uh, power plus two thousand, defense plus two thousand. At the end of the battle, um, that a prism dragon monster on your field was attacked. If you have a prism dragon on your center, do one damage. So if you attack my rear guard, I have a prism dragon. Boom, do one damage every turn. So this is uh, as good as a. Like a deal 4 5 damage, wow! And the craziest thing is the buddy uh, quintessence crystal dragon Athora. It is a size 3 727 
uh, put the top two cards of deck into this card. So pay three gauge, pay three gauge, two soul guard, seven two seven, double attack, and uh, you cannot be destroyed by cards effect or dealt damage by cards effect. Means as if you do not kill this, you won't be able to touch me. That's why they call it the zero damage fighter. Wow, this is really amazing. I can't believe I was just talking about it and I pulled it. Wow, as and imagine you combo it with uh, crystal spikes. This becomes a nine two nine. Wow, this is this why it's my favorite favorite deck right now. Radiant shoe. This is just like a ghetto shoe. You cast this if your prison ring and your center is being attacked. Pay one gauge, nullify the attack, deal one damage to your opponent. Imagine having your buddy, you wearing crystal spikes. You cast this, your opponent uh, immediately takes two damage. And once he does two damage, boom, uh, impact. Cristiano Crystal Shoot Cristiano just went to Japan and I don't know what he do but he has a sword now. <laughs> nah, just kidding. <laughs> Pay two gauge counter deal four damage to your opponent. This card cannot be nullified. Damage can be reduced and your opponent life becomes zero. It cannot change uh, by your opponent card. Means you cannot revive like uh, it's a counter to Dre as well. You may only cast this card during your opponent's final phase if you do not take damage during your opponent's turn and you have a Prism Dragon monster in your center. And your opponent is 4 life or less. This is just really, 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 really crazy. Because um, <clears throat> uh, with your buddy Atora, you won't be taking any damage. I assure you that. With, you can't be taking penetrate damage. You can't be, uh, you can't be dealt any uh, sort of burn damage. The only kind of damage you might take is uh, Shadow Dive. And believe me, there is counters for that. Uh, pawn of the promotion. Wow, I just got so hyped because I got my favorite... Uh, I, I would say this is the best secret pack in the set. Out of item blasting, pink crystal dragon rose, tenacious chief smasher get. And we have a double rare, it's a return of the Thunder Knights, uh, gold lion halberd. Also another amazing card. Although its value might not be so high because uh, there isn't a really uh, super strong su support in return of Thunder Knights yet. Okay. White Crystal Dragon Columbo, Half Wind Kid Yaza, Fragment Reload. Oh, whoa, whoa! I just, oh my god! Akuna <coughs> Matata, we just got a body rare, and it's the craziest, nicest body rare. Demonic Dragon Deity of the Black Sun Gun. Gun just became a, 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 a one with Azi the Haka, it became one with the Force. This card is amazing because 15,000 power, 5 critical, 12,000 defense and imagine that it is a transform. So you won't be hitting, uh, you won't be touching me unless you're hitting 12,000. The card, this card can only enter a field if you are Dragon Dre, which you are transforming. This can be destroyed, no return to hand, this ability cannot be nullified, so nothing can stop it. When you are transformed into this card, your opponent cannot draw cards during his next turn. So imagine that. You need to hit the 12k. He can't draw cards to attack you. Uh, oh man, I need to take a breath. Woo, woo. Activate, you may discard uh, 2 size 3 or greater monster cards from your hand and pay 2 gauge. This is a monster card, so you can discard him. Uh, if you do, pay gain 5 life. So imagine this. If you managed to transform into this guy man i assure you you have almost won the game uh against a uh, thunder empire or cristiano shoot you know um sometimes they might not get an impact and when they kill you boom tell you what is game it's a buddy i will sleep all these cards in a while i uh, just this is just really really crazy it's unbelievable because i don't even what <laughs> it's only like Okay, for Buddy Rare, there is a 2 in the carton. SP, there is also 2 in the carton. So, there is a chance it's a 1 in 4 boxes that I will get something. Hot Blood and Hedgehog. Oh, and we have Dynamite. This is uh, really a really strong card as well. Size 3, Ancient Will. You may only cast this card if you are 15 or more Dragon Chief Emperor. The new cast allows you to mule out your Dragon Chief Empress. Okay, put this card on top of a Dual Jaeger card on your name. This card near with you and pay 3 gauge counter. Call this card from your hand by paying his call cost. Means counter means you cannot be nullified uh, using anti matter cloud. Um, okay, it's called, called quadruple attack. Soul guard life link tree. 
uh, imagine you attack quadruple attack boom you summon another one there's no limit of how many uh, dynamites you can uh, top uh, you can call uh, this is really very strong because in the Indonesia's top 8 there is actually a dynamite which is used by one of the another of Indonesia legend players I heard there's two very strong defending players of Indonesia it is Juventus and Andrew Conan you know uh, he uses this deck and he, this deck managed to uh, destroy Oni Assassins is one of the game but eventually I think he lost to Oni Assassins as well it's a pretty uh, fair matchup there's chances for both decks to win Steel Ball Wilder Hogan Blood Dragon Follower All Round the War Tackle uh, Kuruha I love to use his buddy and the impact okay, wow I, I haven't even got to half the box and and this is really already on fire Gold Dragon Iron Wall Red Officer Delta Woo! we just got one of my favorite parallel voice mystery setting <clears throat> Although I already have four of these parallel foil, but this is my favorite card. You know why? Because put this card into the soul of your monster on your field. This card on your soul of your prison dragon cannot be put into a drop zone, so it cannot be located. It cannot be a uh, final phase by only assassins. And whenever your prison dragon in this card, so is attack. Put the top card of your deck into your gauge, so it helps you gauge. Uh, you can't be uh, uh can't be removed by soul. Trust me. Combine this with your buddy secret pack Atora. Uh, you'll be able to tank through on your senses like there's no tomorrow because uh, they really have to uh, fight you they have to remove your soul and destroy your monster with Kiribuki if they can't remove it they can't kill it uh, value day beating knuckle dead copy amazing card mera exhaust dragon and chest impact generic chest so I wonder who might actually form that deck is really very interesting Okay, Dust, Yego, Headgear, Bodyguard, Kiva, and we have a double rare, which is uh, Bao Sole. Basically, pay 3 gauge and put, this, put a card with Bao Sole or Bao Dragon, you can't interfere in the drop zone. If you have an item equipped with release condition, which is your Dragon Force, equip this, this card attack cannot be nullified. During your turn, this card enters the field by effect Sun Deity Choice. When this card links attack with a Sun Dragon item, for this turn, this card power and critical becomes infinite and cannot be reduced penetrate. So this is just an OTK bow. Come out, boom, 10 crits. You know, it's really a game-ending finisher against any deck that is really, really very strong. Well, I guess there's ways to counter the infinite crit. Like, uh, there's a generic card called Benefit. Or you can either use... Uh, your buddy Atora, which does not allow you to take effect damage. That's just really crazy. And we got another item for only assassins. You guys check this out. I haven't even <laughs> entered half the box and I already put all the good stuff. Alright, let's speed through this. Uh, Shinobi Scrolls got a reprint over there. Park Dragon Sword King. This is really one of the most epic. Uh, Epic box openings, man. Part of the Rose. Okay. Optics Operation and uh, Air Dragon Emperor. Foot of Fowl. Every single one of the decks is just really, really strong right now. Pink Crystal Dragon Rose. A couple Chief Gun Gun. Red Crystal Dragon. And this is another double rare. Uh, it's called Blue Crystal Dragon Cavagdos. Uh, put the top card of the deck into this card so and pay one gauge when this card is being attacked for this to nullify the attacking cards penetrate when this card leaves the field put the top card of your deck into your gauge so it's a uh, it's already like i said prism dragons is already tanky uh it costs off uh, one gauge it has a soul guard it's a nice seven two six it will be a nine two eight if it's combined with the soccer boots and you can't take penetrate damage basically Tell you, tell you what, this is like a free call cost, a free tanker, it's like a free unit. Imagine just calling this for free, it is really crazy. Uh, it helps to fight a lot of penetrate decks. And we are next to the half of the deck. Oh, oh, it's always hiding there. Okay, this is the promo, you guys check it out. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, let's see through this because I believe it's a little bit time. 
Oh, and this is a double rare for the Oni Assassin. This card makes Oni Assassin so amazing, trust me. Put a soul from a card into your field into a drop zone. Boom! And Bush activate. Put the top card of your deck into your gauge. Boom! Gauge adder. Draw two cards. Boom! Nice one. You can only cast this once per turn. And I and Oni Assassin is just crazy. It's the first time that it actually make the new decks so amazingly strong. And, and trust me, it is really fun as well. Dragon Columbia. Another old. Okay, this is sort of like the Shinobi Scrolls for Oni Assassin. Put into a soul of a card and draw one card. It has to be a staple of all because that card it just helps you plus every single turn. Okay. Oh, and we got this card. Alright, this card is really crazy because uh, it is helps Hero World so much. Put the top card of your drop zone into this card so pay one gauge if there are one or more cards item in a few cannot be destroyed by your opponent card effect and uh, uh, items on your field get critical plus one. This is just really good support for Kaiseron I believe. It's just move. You cannot Kaiseron cannot be destroyed. What could stop Kaiseron? So glad we have a hero world support. Uh, fragment reload. Alright. Okay. And this is the card we're talking about just now combined with the Bao Sole, Sun Deity Choice. Basically, uh, you guys read it up, you can combo with that card, it's really amazing. And guys, do comment down below what deck is your favorite, what do you think is the strongest? Because basically, I think that every deck is the strongest. You can, now it's finally the time that you, you can play your favorite deck and win, you know, based on the new sets. Uh, my favorite deck is Prisms, and I believe that Prisms, you know, can take you far. But <clears throat> then again, I lost to Thunder Empire because Juventus was really too strong. So, <clears throat> like I said, every deck has a chance to win. It's an amazing card. Must play 4 in every print in the only Assassin deck. And on that day, Paddy was just really insane, man. Only Assassins was. Everyone thought, you know, Oni Assassins was just the deck to build, uh, was the strongest deck, new bow. <coughs> but, but, uh, card protagonist, which uses Zodiac, actually proved them wrong. Zodiac is still a really, really, really strong deck. Surprisingly, there isn't any Executioners or Zui in that tournament. Oh, we have a parallel foy for Ancient World. Zue, I believe Zue is being countered by stuff like uh, Thunder Empire or Oni Assassins because they can remove all your monsters so boom Ibuki deals 3 damage to you. Okay. <clears throat> it's really 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 strong Oni Assassins. Even Prism Dragon is not a, a walk in the park for uh, Oni Assassins. It's a uh, it's actually pretty hard to beat. Okay, another double rare. You guys read up for the dynamite deck. It's a must play. Personally, playing Prism Dragons, my hardest matchup was uh, I have to say it's only Assassins. Hot Bloody Hit Gear. For me, only Assassins and Zui is one of my hardest matchups because Zui is just uh, so much advantage, can hit you so many times. But only assassin just if you do not have mystery setting your soul gets removed. Uh, they have uh, they can clear you so easily. Man, it's really painful. Destruction starlight. Whoa, we have a triple rare, the best triple rare in the set. A must play for Thunder Empire as well as Dragon World. It's called Butts at Sling. So you may only cast this card if you have attacked three or more times during this turn. Counter. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Put one of among them into your hand, put the rest into your gauge, and gain one life. You guys just tell me, is this card broken? Wow, it can be used in 5th Omni. Imagine, uh, you gauge 2, you check the top 3, you can take anything. You need impact, you need a monster next time, you need a shield, anything. This card makes uh, Dragon World... <clears throat> it just makes Dragon World so strong. I lost because I... I think I lost because of that card. You know, uh, Evento managed to find an impact from that card and just kill me. Uh, Dragon World Pair of Foil. Oh, Assassins. <clears throat> Indonesia was really fun. 
I managed to met so many people, uh, met all the friends I met from the previous time. I managed to meet a Indonesian body fight YouTuber called Hyper Potatoes. Do check them out. Uh, spelling is just Hyper Potatoes. They're really, uh, really, really friendly people, and uh, I think there is a battle match against me and them. Uh, check out to see what happens. Okay, this is the final pack of Destiny, the Dark Lords Rebirth final pack of Destiny, guys. Will we be so lucky that you know manage to reprint and pull another buddy rare? Okay, who knows? Okay, already so lucky. Okay, let's check it out. Green Dragon Sound. Military Tactics Togan Plane. Scuffle Chief Gapangan. <laughs> Red Crystal Dragon Alamoroni. And and it is Whoa! What is this? No, it's not, but it looks amazing. This is the triple rare that um that uh that uh, only assassins use is the buddy monster of the character, I believe, in the show. I have not watched the latest episode yet, but pay two gauge. When this card enters the field, destroy a monster on your opponent's field. Then if this card enters the field by ambush, deal damage to your opponent to the size of the destroyed monster. So ambush come out, it's like a grey butt, destroy, deal damage, and believe me, it has double attack. I can't believe it as well because this is just so strong. Uh, now today's the triple rare looks so amazing. Look at the texture, wow. And it says, there's... And only residing in the mountains of Owe, the only boss which makes even Rakasa his henchman. Wow, it's really cool. <laughs> I believe this is one of the best box that I can ever get. Anyone can ever get. Let's let's look through the foils. Okay, and uh, all right, let's take a look at the foils. We have a uh, Kiribuki parallel foil, but and sling, stout waist head gear, parallel foil, parallel foil. Uh, double rare, uh, double rare, parallel foil, bow, impact monster, mystery sing favorite card, dynamite, and a body rare. The body rare is red in color. The, there are three different body rares, there are three different colors. I'm just so lucky to be able to pull this one. Thunder Knights Vice Captain Goliath Helbert. And we have the secret pack. This is really, really crazy. And also a parallel foil. Uh, when this card put face on the soul of a card on a field, drop zone, make pay color. It's really cool. So, I hope you guys enjoy my box opening. It was loads of fun because I managed to get everything I wanted. It's like, it's like a, this is the best treasure box ever. And do stay tuned because there will be a lot of exciting content. Like I mentioned, there will be much, many battle videos on the latest decks. I'll fully build it to its ultimate potential and show you guys and if you guys like it maybe i'll do some deck profile and um all right till next time guys keep on buddy fighting